Brooklyn Independent Television. During the 80s and 90s, then known as the human highlight film, Dominique Wilkins was a major player in the NBA. These days, Dominique is part of the NBA's Atlanta Hawks front office. Recently, he's teamed up with preferred health partners in downtown Brooklyn for a full court press against diabetes. I also spoke to him about his days in the NBA. <laughs> I discovered I was diabetic when I turned 40. About, actually, I'm 39 now. Right. <laughs> Did I trip you up with that one? <laughs> but yeah, I've been a diabetic for 10 years. So you discovered you were 40 that you were diabetic. Yeah. How did that come about, that discovery? Well, just, you know, feeling off and just not feeling normal and going to get screened and realize that my sugar level was over 350. So uh, that's when my life changed as far as really educating myself and others about diabetes. Even though you guys, some of you guys, a lot of you guys may not be a diabetic in here, Everyone in here has at least one person in their family who is mm -hmm. diabetic. Right or wrong? Yeah. Well, if, raise your hand if you don't. That's what I thought. But it's the knowledge that we learn now, the, the educational tools we put in place to help our families was the most important thing. And really just trying to teach them that three components work together that keeps you healthy. That's diet, exercise, and medication. And as diabetics, we know firsthand, you know, how that works for you and if you don't do those three things the hardships it can cause with yourself and in your families if this is not practice what are your thoughts about the nba what's going on today especially miami you know, it's always movement you know and miami has made a huge jump this year really uh, uh, expanding their team and making them very competitive so they're gonna, they're gonna be a good team how's it look for the hawks this year we're gonna be a very good team we want i think we want the best teams in the east but Again, it comes down to taking it one game at a time, one possession at a time. Because at the end of the day, you get one life. Mm -hmm. You get one life, and you got to take care of it the best way you can. But when you have the educational tools in place to help you with that, that's the thing that keeps you healthy and keep you around for a very long time. Cause we all want to be around for our kids and grandkids. What are your thoughts about high school basketball players well, today? High school basketball is a little different than when we play. You know, um, it's too it's a, lot, it's a lot too much movement. Not a lot of loyalty in, in high school basketball as far as guys staying in one place and building a chemistry with teammates. But, uh, you know, that's the way the game is. The AAU basketball has changed things. That's my whole mission is to educate as many people as I can on how diabetes affects us all, but more importantly, how we can manage it because it's not a disease that's a curse. We're not cursed by it. It's just that we, we, we are faced with an obstacle in the road that we have to go around or go over. Playing against Jordan. Oh, it was, it was, uh, it was fun. Very competitive. We went at it. I mean, you know, all those teams back in the, in those days in the East particularly were, were, were solid teams. There weren't no bad teams. I take medication uh, every day, twice a day. Uh, I, I treat it very aggressively and um, you know, I try to stay ahead of the curve. That's one of those things in life that that's kind of slows you down, but it shouldn't stop you. The I State Senator Kevin Parker recognized the significant contributions and, and accomplishments of Preferred Health Partners Men's Health Day and joined this day with Dominique Wilkins and the residents of the 21st District and all of New York State to recognize Preferred Health Partners and Dominique Wilkins for their contributions to all of the people of New York State. Congratulations, and I look forward to our continued partner together. Thank you. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.